Hey guys, the holidays are here, and to help you get through some of the chaos, I've teamed up with a few of my favorite YouTube channels here to bring you some hassle-free holiday tips. I'm gonna show you how to take some of the pain out of working out in the cold weather for a hassle-free holiday. For this playlist, we've teamed up with the makers of Tylenol who are celebrating all of those special people who go above and beyond for others this time of year with their program called Holiday Heroes. I'm sure all of you have a holiday hero in your life and the makers of Tylenol have a contest this season where you can actually win them a trip to go shopping, chauffeured in a limo, or maybe have their entire house cleaned after the big holiday. All you have to do is go to Tylenol's Facebook page, share their photo and a description, and you are on your way to treating your holiday hero with a little something extra special this season. My holiday hero is my mom. Whether it was our breakfast on Christmas morning, our dinner, the cookies leading up to Christmas, or the presents underneath the tree, she wanted to make sure it was perfect. Now, I'm sure she had a few aches and pains, but she pushed through, and something that helped her get through our holiday season was working out to alleviate that stress. During the holidays, I make sure working out is a priority. It's something that I've learned from my family, my dad, my mom, everybody who works out. We're a fitness family. Except we live in New England, and during the winter, it's freezing out. But I hate running indoors, and I know a lot of you guys have asked me, how do I work out or go running during the winter? So my first tip is I have a warm cup of hot water with lemon or tea or coffee. This warms up my body. Now it also helps wake me up. The second one is to dress appropriately. So I love to layer. I start with a tank top. It does not have a built-in bra. When I'm wearing a ton of layers, I do not like to wear the built-in bras. So this is just really light and it has a special material that wicks sweat away from your body so that you don't feel wet. Next, I put on a long sleeve shirt. This is a really nice fabric, it's stretchy. Again, it wicks moisture away from your body but also helps keep you warm. After those two layers, then I'll either put on a pullover like this with some thumb holes keeps your palm warm. It actually has fleece on the inside. It's really soft. I love the colors. And it's form fitting so you don't feel like you look really big. And if I don't wear this, I will wear a vest. And I love wearing vests while running because you can put your iPhone in your pocket and if you're going for a long run, you can even put like your goo in there. And so, and if you wanna take off your gloves midway run, you can put them in here. I love these gloves because not only are they warm, but they also have these, this material on the pointer finger and also the thumb. So when I'm running, if I wanna change a song or if I wanna have a new playlist, I can access my phone without taking them off. Heat escapes your body through your head, so it's important to have something on top. I usually wear a hat. Um, today, I'm just showing you kind of a nice ear warmer. Running in the cold can be expensive because you have to have so many layers, but once you're prepared and ready to go, honestly, it's kind of enjoyable and it's a little bit easier to breathe. Now, if I go running when it's dark out, I'll make sure to wear something that's reflective so that people can see me. This is lightweight. You can wear it on top of your layers and it actually glows in the dark, so you are not going to get hit by a car. And on bottom, I love to wear compression tights in the winter, they keep me really warm. They have almost a fleece lining, they're really warm. And when you go to put them on, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, these aren't gonna fit me, but they're supposed to be super tight. These also help the blood flow in your legs, which will allow you to run a little bit longer if you love compression wear, these are killer to wear. Lastly, even though you're working out and it's cold out, you still sweat. You need to change out of your sweaty clothes as soon as you're done or you're gonna catch a chill. It's also important to stretch so that you are not sore the next day. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two about what you can do to take some of the pain out of working out in cold weather. Don't forget to sign up to share your holiday hero on the Tylenol Facebook contest page. The link is down below. And also check out the other hassle-free holiday tips from my other favorite YouTubers in this playlist.